Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta and today we will understand how to run linear regression in orange. Linear regression is a type of a supervised machine learning algorithm that computes the linear relationship between the dependent variable n, one or more independent features by fitting a linear equation to the observed data. On y-axis we are having dependent variable, on x-axis independent variable and these are some points where we will pass the regression line in such a way that it covers maximum data points. Evaluation matrix. Evaluation matrix for regression are essential for assessing the performance of a regression model specifically. This matrix helps in measuring how well a regression model is able to predict the continuous outcomes. Common regression evaluation matrix for regression include mean absolute error, mean squared error, root mean squared error, r squared and mean absolute percentage error. Now mean absolute error, mean squared error, root mean squared error and mean absolute percentage error, these values should be as low as possible. But if I talk about r squared, it should be nearer to 1. Cross validation. Cross validation is a technique for validating the model efficiency by training it on the subset of input data and testing on previously unseen subset of the input data. We can also say it is a te technique to check how a statistical model generalizes to an independent data set. Let's understand this concept. All data divided into two parts, training data and test data. Training indicated by green color, testing indicated by blue color. Again, the data is divided into five poles, it means that if we are having 100 observations, in each fold, 20 observations are there. In iteration 1, fold 1 becomes the testing data and remaining are the training data. In second iteration, fold 2 becomes the testing data and remaining are the training data. This continues till we get the optimal parameters. Now let's see how we can run linear regression in orange. So activate the file widget, double click on it, browse the data set which is empty cars, open. Name of the variable is in the first column, type in the second and its role in the third. In case of linear regression, we require the type of all the variables to be numeric. MPG is our target variable, that is miles per gallon. The other variable is number of cylinders in a car, displacement of a vehicle, horsepower of the vehicle, displacement rate, weight of the vehicle, QSEC, vertical or straight engine, automatic or manual transmission, number of gears, carburetor and model. Now close this. Go in transform, select columns, connect this, select columns. Let me explain this concept. Miles per gallon is our target variable. That is a dependent variable. And the independent variables which we will consider are weight of the vehicle. So we want to have a, a linear equation that is weight affecting miles per gallon or not. Is weight affecting mileage or not. Another variable which can be taken as independent is horsepower and other which can be taken as displacement. Now close this. Again go in transform, data sampler, connect, select columns with the data sampler. Options available are fixed proportion of the data that is 70% goes for training, 30% for testing. Fixed sample size can be extracted from the data set with replacement and without replacement. Cross validation. So here 10 subsets are specified. It means 9 go for training and 1 for testing. Bootstrapping option is also available. So fixed proportion of data activated. Next, go in the evaluate. Activate test and score. From model, pick up the linear regression. Connect data sampler with test and score. 
linear regression with test and score double click on it and just see the result is ready so these are all errors mean square error root mean square error mean absolute error mean absolute percentage error so this should be as low as possible first four and r square is the explanatory power of the model it's a coefficient of determination we have to convert this into the percentage so these three independent variables are able to explain 72.9 percentage variation in miles per gallon so it's a good model you can activate the cross validation also from here or leave one out test on train data test on test data close it the next thing which we will do is bring this here data sampler here and activate the predictions Conver uh, connect linear regression with the predictions and data sampler with predictions let's understand this concept double click data sampler in this 70 percent goes for training 30 percent for testing so we want that this model predicts the mileage for the 30 percentage of the data double click here connect remaining data with the data click ok double click on it and just see the mileage predicted by the model from here you can activate absolute difference also sorry just a minute absolute difference relative so keep uh, none or difference whatever you want close it now again disconnect this take data sampler here bring linear regression here and go in the file widget click here double click on it browse now there are two data sets this is the original data set on which the training was given and this is empty cars test a completely new instances that is this data set was never feeded in the algorithm and now we want to predict the mileage of this new instances press open close it connect this file with the predictions and from select columns connected to the linear regression double click on it and just see the mileage these are the nine new instances and the prediction of the mileage so this is how you can run linear regression in orange for more videos on data mining using orange kindly subscribe to my channel you can also refer my playlist in which I uploaded videos on data science, machine learning and artificial intelligence. Please don't forget to like and share my videos. You can also follow me on different social medias link given in the description box.